pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I'm onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. My heart has no desire to stay. Where doubts arise and fears. Dismay, though some may dwell where these abound. My prayer, my aim is higher ground. Lord, lift me up, and I shall stand by faith. On heaven's table land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. I want to live above the world. Though Satan's darts at me are hurled, for faith has caught a joyful sound. The song of saints on higher ground. Lord, lift me up, and I shall stand by faith on heaven's table land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet. Like only you can, Lord, let my mind be below. Lord, let my feet. Lord, let my feet. Oh, 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 Lord, let my 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 feet. Yeah, yeah. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. A higher plane than I have found. My feet on higher ground. Good morning, everyone. This is Pastor Paul Graham, Senior Pastor of Restoration Praise Center, and your host on Bible Boot Camp. This morning, this morning, I got to tell you, I just woke up. If it wasn't for someone who woke me up, called me, and said, Pastor, where are you? I would have been sleeping through Bible boot camp. I've got to tell you, I've heard no alarms. I didn't hear anything. But it's funny, I heard that phone call. And I got up like a pastor saying, what's wrong? Who's sick? Who's hurt? Except for that I was late. But I'm here, and we're up, and we're alive, and we're well, and we're ready. And I know that time is fleeting, but, um, but it's all about waking up and giving God his due. And so today, we'd like to do that. We want to thank you for waking up and joining us on Bible Boot Camp this morning. And I'll let you know this much, that God is a God who sees and cares. God is a God that will wake us up. And so to today, 
on our eighth day of Bible boot camp, we're asking God to wake us up knowing that he is the God of our lives. You'll see from Psalm 100. So this morning, I want to just pray with you, and let's just start together. So Father, be with us and bless us. Help us now as we look at this word that you've given us. It's an awesome word. And in this word, we're asking that your Holy Spirit will be with us and bless us and help us to know that we should always give thanks in our new beginnings. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to share this word with you. I want to share this word with you. Um, that's one of my... One of my favorite songs, one of my favorite songs is um, Higher Ground, because I really believe that God wants to bring us to higher ground. And so in this, we're asking that God will continue to walk with us. God will continue to bless us. God will continue to walk with us and work with us. Because time after time again, um, you know, when we look at the life that we live, and sometimes we look at how we've messed up time after time again, we sometimes forget that all God is asking us is to recognize who he is. And once we know who we are, we can continue to be the Christians we need to be. So all month long, we've been talking about new beginnings. All month long, we've been talking about walking with God. We've been talking about starting all over again. And it's funny, someone said to me just last night, Pastor, 05, 05, we got to get up. We got to be a part of this worship thing because you don't know. Um, how much strength you need every day. So mornings are always better when you talk to God first. Um, I want to share this word with you. But before we do that, I want to, you, to, to look at one thing that uh, we looked at last week. It was a word of the day that I want to share with you again. It's the word of the day. Every day we give you a word of the day to share with others on Facebook or on social media. But I wanted to look at one of them before we looked at this word. And the word of the day uh, last week was one that was called the today to-do list. Today's to-do list. And, and it's something that I was really looking at and something that I was really following. And it's something that I want to reiterate again. That to today's to-do list simply tells us a couple of things that we really need to do, a couple of things that we really need to do that will keep us on point with God. I'm talking about every day, every single day. And and as I talk about this this today's, today's to-do list, I want to leave this word with you, okay? The today's to-do list, again, is number one, practice kindness. Practice kindness, okay? The next one was let go of what I can't control. Wow let go of what I can't control. The next one is count my blessings. How many of us count our blessings? So I'm going to pause right there for a moment. I'm going to pause right there for a moment. And as I pause there for a moment, I want to ask you, for those who are in the chat rooms right now, whether you are in, um, whether you are in a Full Circle, whether you are in our Facebook pages, or, or, or profiles, wherever you may be right now, Praise Vision, wherever you may be, I want you to take one blessing. Out of all the blessings that you have right now, I'm asking you to take just one and post it right now. Okay? I want you to post it right now. Just take one blessing and post it right now. One of them was counting your blessings. Number four, listen to the Holy Spirit. One of the problems that we have in life is that we don't listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. And here's the biggest thing that I've always heard. One of the things that I've always heard was, I don't know the voice of the Holy Spirit. I don't know the voice of the Holy Spirit. And it's so important for us to cultivate that relationship with God so that we will be able to decipher which voice we ought to listen to, which, which ought to be, of course, the voice of the Holy Spirit. The next one, uh, number five, is walk with God. Walk with God. Not with men, but walk with God. Not with men but walk with God. And when the word of God tells us to walk with God, it reminds me of, um, of, of Enoch, who walked with God till he was not. It's beautiful. 
absolutely beautiful. Hearing that voice of the Holy Spirit, you're right, Pastor. Pastor Phil Wesley, you're absolutely right. It's all about hearing the voice of the Holy Spirit. And then as we listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit, then we ought to live like Jesus. Wow. Live like Jesus. Uh, I think it's so important that it is important to live like Jesus. Now, when we say passes on to someone else, we ought to encourage other people, encourage other individuals, encourage them to know that they can also do the same thing. Number one, you ready? Practice kindness. Number two, let go of what I can't control. Number three, count my blessings. Number four, listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Number five, walk with God. Number six, live like Jesus. And number seven, this passes on to someone else. Awesome, awesome, awesome. In our today to, to do to, in our today's to-do list, let's continue to be like God. Hey, let me show you something. I want to share with you this uh, commercial. And this commercial really will help each one of us to know that if you've been slowing down, if you've been um, not doing what you've needed to do, know this much. We can keep on going anyway. Awesome, awesome. Don't let fear slow you down. Don't let fear keep you back. Keep on striving no matter what. Keep on striving no matter what. Hey, I want to share this word with you if you don't mind. I really believe that God has a special word for us today. A special word that will uh, keep us where we, where, uh, where we need to be and make us stronger than we've ever been because that's what it's really about. <clears throat> it's about being stronger than we've ever been. And so right now I want to share this word with you. This word comes from Psalm 100. It comes from Psalm 100. And I want us to take the time to look at verse 3 more than, more than anything. So Father, I ask that as we look at this, as we look at this word, that your Holy Spirit would be with us, that your Holy Spirit would bless us and strengthen us to know that you are a God that wants us to make a joyful noise in our actions and our deeds. In Jesus' name, amen. Got to share this with you. Psalm 100. Uh, many of you know it by heart. Many of you know this text. And I know this much that it's an encouraging text. But today, as you look at this text, as today, as you look at this text, I want you to see it like you've never seen it before. I want you to pay attention to it like you've never paid attention to it before. The word tells us, make a joyful noise unto the Lord all the lands. It says, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know that the Lord, he is God. Listen to that. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. 
Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. And the word says, be thankful unto him and, 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 give him, and bless his name and give him praise and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. Now, I need you to look at this simply because it is important to know that God is expecting us to make a joyful noise unto him. And he's talking to everybody, all the lands. The Bible is telling us, telling us this simply because when we give praise, we've got to ask the question, who are we giving praise to? Who are we giving homage to? Who are we paying homage to? And I ask this because time after time again, um, we are making a joyful noise, but we're making a joyful noise to whom? To someone else? To our job, to our bosses, to our spouse, to our girlfriends, to our boyfriends, to to maybe church positions. Who are you giving a joyful noise to? And God is telling us that we ought to make a joyful noise unto the Lord. So now the Bible is telling us who we're directing our praise to. The Bible also says, I don't want you to uh, make a joyful noise and, and and do it out of um, you know out of a place where we don't want to give God praise. You ever went to church and you wasn't into it, so you just mumbled that word or mumbled that song or, you know, God is saying when you wake up in the morning and you and you give uh, homage to uh, your job by waking up and getting up and getting ready, God is saying, I need you to get ready every morning with me. He's saying, serve me with gladness. Come before my presence with singing. When you wake up, you ought to know that, hey, God, woke me up. God got me here. God is doing this for me. And he says, come before me with gladness. Come on now. Come before me in my presence with singing. Now, now this is the, the part that got me. The part that got me is the fact that so many of us, we, we, we don't know uh, who we belong to. So we don't know how to live our praise. The word of God says it is he. Look at this now. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Wow. Um, when I look at that, it helps me to know that the reason why he wants me to live a joyful life, why he wants me to live my life this way at all times is because we were created to give him praise, not just by singing, not by shouting, not by uh, just acknowledgement. It is it, it, but also, by everything we do, we give him praise. It is he that has made us. We must recognize that we have a creator that wants us to create uh, discipleship or even be that individual for him. So look, look, I know I'm going through this text, but I want you to look at this. A lot of times we can't live the way we need to live because we don't know who we belong to. A lot of times we allow people to take advantage of us is because we don't know who we belong to. A lot of times we fall into sin is because we don't know who we belong to. And so this word is telling us even now that he, it is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. And be thankful unto him and bless his name. Is his name worthy to be praised? It is worthy to be praised. And because his name is worthy to be praised, we live as if we give him praise. Someone just wrote on Periscope, I belong to Jesus. And I need you to know you belong to him. You belong to him. But before it closes off, it says, for the Lord is good. Do you believe he's good? If you believe he's good, just, just type right there, he is good. If you believe he is good, just type right there, post that he is good. And not only post that he is good, but I also want you to post why he is good to you. Take that time right now. Post why he is good to you. God is good, but post why he's good to you. He woke you up this morning. He set you on your way. He, come on, come on now. He got you home last night. He got you home yesterday. So many of us were in the snow, but he brought us through. Come on now, God is a good God. And this word, listen, this word says, for he is good. 
His mercy is everlasting. His mercy is everlasting, which helps me to know that when I say sorry, he says okay. When I ask for forgiveness, he says okay. When, he, when I ask him to bring me safely somewhere, he takes me safely. He spares our life. He does so much for us. We may not have everything, but we've got God. And this word tells us, and his truth endures to all generations. So how to pause right now and recognize that we serve a God that loves us so much. But I want, you to sh I want to share this with you. I want to share with you uh, this one matter. And this one matter I want to share with you is the very fact that God wants us to recognize that we belong to him. Listen. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. It says, for know that the Lord, he is God. Look at this before we go, because I want you to share this with others. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. I want to pray for you right now. I want to pray for you that you just recognize today that if you're going to make a new beginning, if you're going to be that new person, you've got to recognize who you are, who you belong to, and what he expects from you. And who you are is the sheep of his pasture. Who he is, is your creator. And he expects us to live a life of joy every single day. I want to share that with you, that word with you, that time with you, that moment, that whatever you do, Know this much, that God wants you to make a joyful noise to him. I want to pray right now. Is that all right? I want to pray for each one of us right now. As we look to be that individual he needs us to be, to be that Christian he needs us to be. So let's bow our heads together. And I ask at this moment that as we begin to uh, get ready for prayer, write down your prayer request. Even now, write down your prayer request. And as you write down your prayer request, know that God is a God that sees. God is a God that hears. together as we look to him this very morning let's pray together father again we come before you thanking you for all that you have done we thank you for life and we thank you for strength we thank you for all that you have given to us all that you have done for us and at this very moment there are those who are saying lord i just want to walk with you i just want you to walk with me i just want a." Uh, uh, another life with you. And so we're asking now, Lord, that you'll continue to rest and abide with us. Today, we're asking you to bless us in every, every way. There are those who are leaving their prayer requests right now, and in these prayer requests, you're, we, we hear from you. We, we know that you are the one that can do so much for us. And in this eighth day of Bible Boot Camp, we're asking you to help us to live a life of joy, to live a life that shows that we have a creator, to live a life that shows that we're the sheep of your pasture, that, that there is none like you. And so we're asking you to help us to, to do what we ought to do that makes you look good. We've been praying now, Lord, for so many different individuals. We've been praying for those who have children in college. We've been asking you to bless them. 
we've been praying for those who have been praying for a spouse and even for those who are praying for their spouse we're asking you lord to be with those who are looking to empty themselves and be filled with your spirit we're asking you lord to uh be with crystal as she leaves to go back to school we're asking you lord to be with raquel's mom and her healing we're asking you lord for as we're not asking for grace and mercy we're asking you lord to continue to be with our individuals day after day after day knowing that it's tough but we've got you your word is asking us to make a joyful noise and we definitely want to make a joyful noise to you but help us to know who we belong to help us to know that it's about you help us to know that uh, you are a great God help us to know that you're awesome help us to know that there is none like you and we're asking now that as your Holy Spirit continues to rest and abide with us, that we may see you for who you are, not just a good God, but a great God. Now, God, I ask you in a mighty way that your Holy Spirit will continue to rest and abide with us, that everything we do, it will prosper in your name, that everything we say, it will prosper in your name. And I'm asking now that as we continue to walk, that we'll walk humbly with you. Lord, I ask you again that you'll continue to uh, help us to recognize that you are a good God and that your mercy endures forever. Lord, I ask you to continue to walk with us. Bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. And so this morning, I first of all want to say thank you for to Abby for calling my phone and waking me up. Get up, get up, get up. But we were able to spend this time together. And I ask now, I ask now that God's Holy Spirit will continue to rest and abide with us and be with us today and to bless us in a marked way. Help us uh, to do that today's list and help us to walk the way we ought to walk. We ask you again to share this with someone today. Share this with someone. Let them know that God has taken us to higher heights. And more than this, help us to recognize that there's no God like the God we serve. Let's continue to walk with him and let's continue to recognize that you, you too, we too, can start anew with him. That the new beginnings that we have, the new beginning that we have with Jesus Christ can make us the Christians that we need to be as we continue to walk with him. Be blessed, everybody, and let's make him number one today in our lives. God bless you. Thank you.